Have you ever wanted to play a popular game and come to find out that it's not available on Mac? Well, now you too can play some of the hottest titles, including Cuphead, Witcher 3, and Destiny 2. What's up everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And yeah, Mac gaming can be a bit problematic. Not every game launches on Mac OS, and there is a much larger array of games available for Windows PCs rather than Max. So, uh, until now, you were kind of just stuck. You had to either build up a gaming rig over on the Windows side, or just kind of have to be happy with what they do launch on the Mac side of things, which means big titles such as Destiny 2, Witcher 3, Cuphead, you just could not do unless you went over to the Windows side of things. Well, now, GeForce Now from NVIDIA is finally out of beta and available to all as a new option for playing certain games on Macs really a lot of devices, including uh, TVs, Windows PCs, Macs, all without having to have the latest hardware. So we actually tried this for ourselves. We booted up our 2016 MacBook Pro, so not the most powerful one. It's not the newest one by any means. We booted up GeForce Now, which comes in two different tiers. There's a free version and then a paid version. If you have the paid version, you get three months free, and then uh, I believe $4.99 for the rest of 2020 to try it out. Uh, or you can get the, three, the free version, which gives you an hour of playtime per session. And you can you know, really do as many sessions as you want, but it's uh, one hour sessions and that's the free tier. So we jumped on the free tier to try this out before we kicked in our money. And man, this thing worked really, really well. So of course we're here on our Mac, we're at our desk, we have our normal kind of work setup. So we've got our MacBook Pro, we've got our Kef LSX speakers, our growth made accessories here, like our desk mat. Um, and we boot into our machine, we download GeForce Now from the NVIDIA website, which is linked down below if you guys don't have the link already. Uh, we download that, you drag it from one place to the other. That's as easy as installation is for Mac users, as we all know. Uh, then open up the GeForce Now application. Once you boot into it, you log in and you're set. You can add uh, up, I think there's around 30 or so free to play titles already there, uh, such as Fortnite and others like that tie those in and of course you're just running off of the nvidia hardware that's out there and not your local machine so you don't have to have the fastest performance and yet you can run these games at 60 plus frames per second so you have great performance there without having to rely on your internal machine all that much so of course we jumped in we perused the game section and if you already have games maybe you picked them up from different sources uh, from steam or epic games something like that you can tie those accounts into here so if you go to play uh, borderlands 3 you previously purchased that and you found oh man this is not running my machine i want to try this again download it here it'll tie into your account authenticate and you can play right away we the same thing with destiny 2 we've played destiny 2 on a windows pc all i did was uh, tie in my steam account after launching destiny 2 it automatically matched everything up Boom, go, we're good. We're playing Destiny 2 on our Mac and it was very smooth. We couldn't tell at all that we were streaming this thing at the same time. Now granted, we do have great bandwidth here. We are hardwired in using an ethernet connection through Thunderbolt 3. So we're getting great bandwidth, but it really felt like we were playing a native game. There wasn't any lags or buffering or weird stuff going on throughout the playing process. It was just overall very smooth. There are a ton of games already available. Again, already 30 some of free games, a bunch more pay titles that you can either purchase or if you already have them, you can play them with GeForce Now, relying again on all that super hardware out in the cloud, not on your local machine, play from anywhere, move between all of your devices. It works on Android tablets or Android devices coming soon. Uh, Chromebooks are coming soon, Macs, PCs. Now the big uh, lacking spot for Apple users here, it's kind of a bummer. I'm really kind of disappointed. Uh, unlike Steam Link, which does work on iOS, there's no planned support for iOS using this system. So if you were hoping to get this on your iPhone and iPad and play these PC games on your iPhone and iPad, right now that does not look like it's in the cards. Steam has not promised anything. It's not on the list of upcoming supported devices. It just appears like there's no planned support for iOS or iPad OS at this point. But at least we have it for Mac. We're thrilled. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go back to playing some Destiny 2, some Witcher 3 over on our MacBook Pro. Um, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. What did you think of the performance? Did you think that looked pretty smooth? Are you gonna try this for yourselves? Reach me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and let's talk about it. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. 
If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider Price Guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.